dark, sultry, provocative. A home that epitomizes the perfect balance between masculinity and sensuality. Welcome back to Crazy Nice Homes. Today we're here to explore a two-bedroom, 808 square feet condominium unit. If you're ready, welcome to the Gentleman's Club. Hi, Carmen. How are you? Uh, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me here. So, Carmen, what's the theme and inspiration behind this house? Oh, the theme is actually Gentleman's Club Bar Loft. The inspiration behind is actually the fact that my, my client likes to drink so he drew inspiration from the club that he visited which is Manhattan style so he was really deeply in love with it hence the brief to me was design something like that Awesome, I can't wait to check out this house Come, let's go! Alright, let's go! Whoa! What, what is this? Is the homeowner inside? I highly doubt so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what, what, is, what is this doing in the house? Actually, there's a long story behind. But long story short, right? Okay. Essentially, client didn't expect me to suggest this at all. But <laughs> I thought, this is a gentleman's club bar loft, right? There should be something that's signature of it. So that's why I thought, ah, what can be more signature than a medieval time artifact of sorts? So I suggested him to buy this and we actually got it online oh, okay and then it, sh it was shipped all the way to Singapore It really gives a nice touch to the entire feel of the house as well Yeah, it is except when you see eyes staring out lah, then you better <laughs> run but it is super cool everybody who comes here right will all take a look at this place yes, Yeah, sure, this, sure. this is a artifact So this brings me to this part of the house Right uh, I see a very nice stack head decor feature panel Nice, right? <laughs> yes, Exhibit A it <laughs> So it's actually I bought this stack head, right, because I thought it's representative of the whole gentleman's club style. Okay. Yeah, but I thought we need a backing so that we elongate the living room's height. Oh, yes. Hence, I thought, hey, why don't we use laminate flooring to jab, 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 jab into a panel. Wait, so then... <laughs> this is laminate flooring? Yes, cannot tell, oh. right? It's chevron-shaped laminate flooring. So jab, 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 right? <laughs> After that, right, I got my contractor to do up the frame and then varnish it so that the wall tone, right, the colour tone will be flowing with the rest of the house. Yes. Ah, then that will be, voila. Oh, and I gotta say the gold of the stack fits the colour of the laminate flooring very well. Thank you. That's after careful curation on oh. my part because I must make sure all the gold matches. So when I shop online, right, I must make sure the right gold, but of course there's a risk, la, sure. you know, you can't always get the perfect gold. Okay. But something close enough will be good for me. Yeah, and yeah. I, and really the I gotta say one thing is the lights from these two light panels here, they really reflect very nicely onto this mat. Let me uh, show you know? exhibit B. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is actually industrial kind of a uh, style of lighting. Okay. Yeah, so inside, right? If you can tell, you can see crosses inside. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, actually, these are LED lights. Oh, Although they, are LED. they look like uh, filament, they oh, look like yeah, halogen yeah, yeah. lights, but they are LED, which means it's energy saving and it's also um, less warm. Yes, yes, yes. Which means yeah, it wouldn't make really hot. Right? Yeah, correct, correct. That's right. Oh, these are LED. So, oh wow. So, LED comes in many shapes and yes, yes. forms no, now. It, it's very advanced already. So, you can actually be creative and find light that suits the style of the house without breaking the bank. Oh, mm. So, uh, I guess this whole thing you say without breaking the bank, so it's pretty affordable? Pretty affordable. Okay. Yeah. Initial design that Carmen has was actually uh, give me an A logo, something like Avengers. So I thought of it like, you know, okay, it's a good idea, but you know, it's sort of like uh, personalized my name, Ellen. So I do not want it. Uh, I want it to be something that is uh, honoring to God because uh, me being a very devoted Christian. So I thought of hey, uh, which is grace in uh, Hebrew. Uh, I thought it's something that I can use this place to honor God. So Carmen, wow, what a big splash of green in the house, all dark, sexy, sultry, but here, <laughs> so much green. Actually, <laughs> the brief to me was the client wants this area, this balcony area, right, to entertain. Oh. And he wants to chill out and space out when he's like, very stressed out and all that, yes. right? So he can look out to the greenery. So I designed this place with this whole plant wall in mind, which he loves. Okay. And another important thing is this plant wall, right, actually hides the aircon compressor. Oh, behind this. Tell, right? Yeah, I can't tell. Wait, so if they come in service, is it difficult? Must you dismantle everything? No, la, of course. Obviously, I won't <laughs> dig a grave for myself, right? I will make it 
the panels accessible, so you can just actually open. Okay. It's, it's not fixed to the wall, so it's still very much alive. You can just open it ah. and take and do whatever, and then close it. Wait, so you said alive? Are these plants real? It's gonna take a lot to maintain a real live plant wall oh, like this. Oh, okay, okay. So hence the simpler way and the smarter way is to go artificial. Oh, but it yeah. looks so real. Yeah, right? And I love it that it utilizes the full height of this loft area, you know? Yeah, exactly. So it's actually to bring your eyes up to appreciate the full height of the wall. Yes, yes, yes. Now, no yes. point having such a tall ceiling, right? Then you do something cut it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make <laughs> you sense. You can't see it anyway. Yeah, correct. So important question. How much does something like this cost? This entire length? Uh, let's just say a couple of thousand. The okay. low end of the thousand lah. In terms of flooring, look at the flooring. Okay. It looks like real wood, right? It is, isn't it? It is not. Oh, it's not. It okay. It's not. So what happens is uh, there are a couple of alternatives to uh, choosing wood for okay. outdoor. I see. Uh, you can go with Chengai. Okay. Chengai wood is very expensive. Of course, durable. So this Chengai wood is it like the the number one wood? Yeah, it's the version <laughs> of wood for the balcony. Ah, but then for the ah. You're going to like pay out of you, your pocket. Your pay money also. Ah. Yeah, you, your pocket is going to bleed. So this, to me, is a smarter alternative. This is actually composite flooring, composite decking. Yeah, so it works the same. It looks like wood, except it's not. So oh. it's like, um, feel-wise, if you step on it, it feels a little bit plasticky, yeah. like just a little bit. But I can still feel the greens though, like Yeah, yeah, of textures. course, um, there will be textures to mimic the real wood flooring. Okay. But cost-wise, it's going to save you a lot. So, and in terms of maintenance also, it's quite fast-free. So that, that's why it's gaining popularity in Singapore, like this whole composite decking. Okay, I gotta say, this room is exactly like a room out of 50 shades of grey. Just oozes sex appeal. You kinky little thing. <laughs> you know, my Wednesday girlfriend Siobhan will love this room with me. Okay, you can keep all your fantasy till later, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so usually, right, people will buy all the very ornate kind of wall lamps. But I think is you don't need to be always shouting in terms of design features. Simple look like that will work because we have bigger pictures in mind. Yes. Yeah, so yes. we it's all about balance and all. So you if you see behind, right? You see all the strips? Oh yes, this black paint strip. Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking what it is. Okay, there's a long story behind. Okay. So what happens is because of my background in uh, advertising and print as well. Sure. Uh, I've come across a lot of print techniques. For example, uh, spot UV. Okay. Is when where you have a base that's matte lamination, and then you want to highlight certain pictures, right? Yes. You do a spot UV printing, which makes it glossy. Oh. So this same theory applies because I wanted to have signature lines to accentuate the space, right? Yes. So we did all this line painting, but in glossy paint. So when set against the matte paint, right, they'll all twang and jump out. Hey, well, but it's good, huh? you got your experience in print and you can use it in ID as well, interior yeah, design. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. I don't think everything needs to be limited to the ID, ID kind of way of doing things. Mm -hmm. I like to be fluid and do art installation and do all sorts of stuff in my house design. So the lion is looking at this uh, hanging light. Hey, can we be more professional? <laughs> it's called Pendant Lamb. Oh, Pendant Lamb. Yep. Okay, so Pendant Lamb mm. with horns? For horny people. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying okay. Adler is horny. Yeah. Now we saying. know. I'm going to ask uh, the homeowner later whether he's, you know, maybe he's productive on this bit. <laughs> oh no, he's going to kill me. <laughs> we need to cut this part. Because I thought we needed another focal point other than the lion, right? Mm. To bring our eyes up to appreciate the height as well. Yeah. So I thought so I wanted something that is signature. It's masculine, yet there's some pokiness that can play off the lion's head. So this is actually a customized barn door. It's a sliding. Why do you choose sliding sliding door? Um, because generally, right, the space is tight. If you do a casement door, mm -hmm. you're going to need the space for the casement door to swing. That's true. That's, That's true. not the best option in the tight space area. Okay. Yeah. Okay, walking through the bathroom will lead us to the sexy walk-in wardrobe. Wow, it looks nice. And this used to be an absolutely tobo area. Oh, okay. Of nothing. It's just empty with one cabinet. Oh, okay. Yeah, so now we've transformed it to become the walk-in wardrobe. Oh, I love it. 
And you know this home being so dark, right? I'll imagine that you use black tempered glass, but you're using what, what do you call this? This is wire mesh spray painted in gold. So what I wanted was that luxe feel that we can have when we use metal, right? Mm -hmm. Spray painted metal. Mm -hmm. It will let light reflect nicely out okay. so that we have the lush, very glitzy feel. Ah. It looks very nice and especially on the back, there's light uh, illuminating as well. Yeah. So usually people only do the top but you did the sides as well. Just illuminate the top part, the bottom part will be very amsoso, mm. right? So what I want will be the very illuminated, very glitzy, very glam feel. So you need enough illumination to do that. Hence, I do all around the perimeter. And if you notice, right, because the whole working wardrobe is very high, we don't want to waste all the space above, right? Uh -huh. So hence we build all the storage. But then, how do you assess? We Spider build Spider-Man. No, <laughs> no there, in real life there are no such thing as Spider-Man. <laughs> but there are things okay. like a sliding ladder, oh, nice. which we built. You see, you can negotiate corner, right? Oh. So that we can access the top cabinets. Oh. So all you need to do is just climb up, and when you open the top cabinet, right? There are side handles for you to support yourself so that you can reach out to get stuff so safety is not compromised while looking sleek and all. Yeah, you got all these safety concerns thought out as well. Yeah, I have to. You okay. don't want the date owner, right? <laughs> <laughs> and this is the main entrance to the master bedroom and the walk-in oh, wardrobe. Okay, yeah, nice. Do you see that it's very thick? It is, such a thick door. Yeah, why do we have such thick door? It's actually oh. a shoe cabinet. So that right, when my owner, after changing, he can just right, walk right up, take his, his shoes, shoes, wear, head out. Oh, so it's a convenient design. Oh. And we designed this door, right, like this, so that all the mess is hidden, you will not see. You know, Carmen, I really love the kitchen backslash. It really fits into the whole gentleman's club thingy. I love it too. Do you see the big pieces? Yes. Actually, I sourced this so that we minimize the number of grouts and it's easier to clean. But big pieces also mean that it'll look more grand. Yes. Especially the fact that I sourced this because I wanted all the gold tints to be reflected in one piece. Okay. So it's picking up colors everywhere from the rest of the house to be in this tile. Given that the kitchen is a small area, I think it's worth the investment. Okay. So most people will want to scream on this, right? But mm. I think there is no need to because it's just a small area. Mm. Yeah, so a lot of thoughts have gone into this, this house, the design, especially this one. This okay. is the peninsula. Ooh, 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 wait, yeah. What's a peninsula? Okay, the difference between peninsula and an island is peninsula is connected to maybe the wall or the cabinets. Whereas island is a float, floating thing, a standalone oh, okay, floating yeah. thing. That, that makes a lot of sense yeah, actually. Yeah, hence high island, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. So the beauty of this thing is that it provides versatility in the space usage because it's mobile. Oh, it's mobile? Yes. Wow. But how, how, how does it work? Try. You can just move it and it shifts according to oh, how you want to move it. Nice. So you can park to one side of the wall when you have a lot of guests. So it frees things up. Yeah, 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 but that's yeah, yeah. not the best part. I can the imagine best that. part is, come, come. Okay. The best part is that there is a pull-out dining ledge. Oh. So that you can dine here and then you eat in peace and you don't need to sit so high up on the peninsula. And this is great because after a hard day at work, I can just come here to this bar area and just have nice whiskey. Eh, eh, because I have a better space for it. A love bar. Oh. And this is a customized spiral staircase built specially for this loft. I love it, man. How often do you see a spiral stairs in a flat, an apartment, you know? Actually, we need some space saving solutions to this. Logically, most people will do that angular staircase to go up, right? Yeah. But we don't have that space for this. So we need uh, the shortest way possible to leap from <laughs> the floor to the top, which means it's a vertical space up. Yes. Hence the spiral staircase. 
Oh wow, you have a sign. Yes, we are open. This is probably the only bar in Singapore that is open 24-7. <laughs> Nobody will chase you out. <laughs> for this loft, my client's brief was very simple. He needs lots of shelving space to display his prized possessions, which are all this expensive alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> very premium. Yeah, so um, on top of that, he also has Lego collections that okay. he wanted to display. I can see that. So this yeah. is for that purpose, right? So in general, this space is functional, but it's also aesthetic. For this space, right, we can see up to three persons mm. to chill out and drink. Nice. Nice, right? And you can nice view too. But I really want to talk about this. I love this. This is brass lion door knocker. Yes. Lovely. It's not to knock for anybody to open the door, <laughs> but mainly to tie back with the lion theme. Okay. And also to gel back with the gentleman's club theme. So this was specially sourced for this purpose. It's nice, I love it. It's a nice touch at the bar especially. Yeah, so you see, uh, I, I spent a lot of time sourcing all these things, right? <laughs> including, uh, in my life, can call, including this glam pang sai zua thingy huh? that you... I also need to source for a client. You source the pang sai zua? So yeah, from the holder, which is the vintage looking pang sai zua holder, yeah, yeah, yeah. to the black pang sai zua itself. Can you imagine if it's not black and it's white, it will look gross, right? Like you're about to. <laughs> Do some uh, big business, so you, I, I source the black one. My favorite part of the house is uh, everywhere. Uh, in fact, uh, I think I enjoy every corner of the houses, especially now we have uh, work from home. So I actually made the uh, right decisions at that point of time to really invest uh, in making the house uh, nice, to stay conducive. Okay, the one thing that I sort of like regretted is that I should actually let Carmen renovate the whole place, including the toilet. So come on, a million dollar question, how much does this beautiful home cost? Definitely not one million. <laughs> <laughs> so renovation plus my interior styling cost will cost about 100,000. So this home with a masculine allure is truly a home that has perfected the art of seduction. A brilliant play between robustness and opulence, making this home in and of itself a crazy nice home. If you like this home, please remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel. If you have any comments about this home, please remember to comment away. If you have a crazy nice home that you want us to visit, do let us know in the comment section as well. With that, Carmen, thank you very much for showing us this crazy nice home today. Thank you. Thank you. With that, take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.